Today, I'm going to show you guys how I made my carne asada chile rellenos wet burritos. Damn, that was a mouthful. I'm going to begin by marinating my meat. I'm going to season it with dos gringos de chupacabra seasoning. Now, this seasoning is the shit. But anyways, I'm going to marinate my meat overnight. I just cover it up, stick it in my fridge, and the next day in the morning, I either throw it on my flat top or on my stove top. And today, I'm doing it on my stove top because I still don't have propane. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I hate tough meat i don't like it it needs to be soft but i feel like if i share that secret with you guys you guys are totally gonna judge me so just do it however you want now i'm gonna char all my chiles i have six pasillas here and i like to char them off my stove top because i like the taste of the char but you can do it in your oven wherever you guys want just get those chiles char put them in a bag let them steam for about 10 minutes so it can be nice and easy when you're peeling them now comes the fun part now to peel the chiles all you got to do is rub on the skin and the skin's going to come right off that's the reason why we leave them steaming in the bag for those 10 15 minutes if your chiles are breaking or ripping that's because you're over charring them like you're burning the shit out of your chile we're trying to char these enough to where the skin blisters but we don't want to overburn these and make them go hard or make them turn into charcoal because they will rip and it's going to be super hard when you're frying them because all the stuff that's inside your chile is just going to come right out another thing i like to peel mine with my hands i know a lot of people who like to rinse them i don't rinse them because then you rinse the burnt flavor off the chile now we're going to stuff them so you're going to make an incision on a, just a small one don't go all the way down because that means more toothpicks so you're just going to make a big enough slit through the chile so you can go in there and pinch all the seeds out because these seeds are kind of hard they're not spicy they're just hard when you're eating them you're going to chew them and it's not something good whenever you're eating your burrito and you feel those hard ass seeds in your mouth when you start stuffing your chiles with the carne asada, you're going to kind of like wiggle the carne asada all the way to the bottom. That way you can leave enough room so when you put the cheese, because this chile relleno is going to have carne asada and cheese. I'm using queso fresco and mozzarella, but you can use whatever cheese you want. Mozzarella cheese has a nice cheese pool and the queso fresco is just super traditional. Like that's usually the cheese that you put when you're making a chile relleno. Then I close my chiles using toothpicks. I know a lot of people can fry up their chiles not using any any toothpicks i can't i everything comes out i make a huge mess the oil starts jumping everywhere so just to make my life a little bit easier i just close them up with toothpicks after all your chiles have been stuffed and closed you're going to coat them with flour it's just flour you don't have to season it this is just so when you do the egg coating the flour sticks or else it won't stick i promise you that at this point you have everything ready so the last thing to do is going to be the egg batter so we're just going to fluff it up right now i like to use one egg per chile plus two extra because i'd rather have extra and then just make the egg tortitas than to not have enough egg batter and i said this earlier and i'll say this again pretend your egg yolks and your egg whites are your ex baby daddy that you want nothing to do with pretend the egg yolk is the rona and you want nothing to do with it so there should be no egg yolk at all on your egg whites or this is not gonna work it won't fluff no matter how long you say they're trying to fluff that egg white there's nothing's going to happen so what i do to avoid that is i start cracking them one by one like you see here and i separate them one by one just in case i do get some egg yolk on my egg whites i can just throw away that one egg or just save that one egg for later instead of throwing away the whole egg batter because like i said if there's egg yolk it's not gonna work so now we're just gonna whisk our egg whites i'm gonna use my hand mixer and i use the whisk attachment and i just whisk into my egg whites are so stiff that when i flip my bowl over they don't come out that's how you know that they're ready once your egg whites are ready then you can add your egg yolks you can either add all of them or most of them like i did and you're gonna slowly incorporate your egg yolks to your egg whites with the machine off or just with the like slowly fold your egg yolks into the egg whites or you are going to deflate your egg whites then you dip your flour coated chiles into the egg batter and then throw them into your hot oil with my spoon i like to kind of shower my chile like this that way i can help the egg batter cook faster that way when i flip it over it's almost halfway cooked and it takes it makes the process go faster because those egg whites can't sit there all day on the countertop you need to use those egg whites pretty quick and that's me snapping my fingers girl keep showering that chile until your egg is fully cooked then you're going to remove it from the oil and let these drain and 
look at how beautiful they are. These are big papachiles. Don't forget to remove those toothpicks, remember? Or else you're going to start killing people here. Now we're going to make the red sauce. So I have boiled four tomatoes, two guajillos, two puyas, and a piece of onion. Then I add everything to my blender along with three garlic cloves. And then I season it with salt, a pepper, chicken bouillon, some oregano, and a little bit of comino. And everything is to taste, guys. Then we're going to take it to the blender and blend until smooth. On a separate pot, I already had a little bit of oil with a little piece of onion and then we fry the sauce so once it comes to a light simmer then the sauce is ready at this point your chiles are ready so you can just serve them like that but since i was gonna make big papa burritos i'm going to start forming them so on a big papa tortilla we're going to smear some refried beans add some more cheese then we add some red mexican rice or chile without the toothpicks and then we remove the stem now we're gonna roll them up and make sure they don't bust in our face and these burritos were gonna be for my husband and his co-workers so i'm going to split them in half and then put them in their togo bento box but first of all look at that cheese pull that's the reason why i like using mozzarella cheese when making chile rellenos then to turn our burritos wet because we're making wet burritos we're going to ladle all of that red sauce all over them then we're going to top it off with more cheese i'm using mozzarella and a mexican blend cheese and then i microwave it for a little bit just enough to get the cheese nice and melted and that's it guys this is how i made my carne asada chile relleno burritos or chile relleno wet burritos and that's it guys now i'm just gonna get everything ready for them write my husband a cute little note so i can drop it off during lunchtime hope you like this recipe bye